If you have a deadline to meet and you don't meet that deadline, not good. All right, Johnny, we are talking now about something that I know you are into, something that I know you live, you believe, you feel very strongly about, so don't hold back. We're talking about work ethic, punctuality, and responsiveness. So let's unpack it. What does work ethic, punctuality, and responsiveness mean to you? Work ethic is a reflection of yourself. Okay. So if you pride yourself, then work ethic's gonna be like majorly important. To me, I've spent lots of time in lots of different jobs. And um, from my first job at 17, selling uh, clothing on Saturday morning in an African outfitting store in South Africa, I used to stand outside in the cold. I used to wait for my dad to pick me up in the cold when the store closed, I was the first to arrive and I was the last to leave. Okay. So work ethic to you is just, whether it's cold, whether it's hot, whether you're tired, whether you're not, get there early, stay late, it's whatever you need to do to get the job done. That's what work ethic means yeah. to you. When at the height of my career, five, I actually did a ride, 2,000 people in the year 2000. That was um, the biggest stationary indoor bike ride that I ever did. 2,000 people, uh, 2,000 bikes um, in the year 2000. I was the first person to arrive and I was the last person to leave. And if you can imagine so many people, uh, the introductions, the commitment that it take, yeah. took, it was way, way, way into midnight. Now, I've seen people arrive and they have the big show and they do their thing and they very quickly out of there. Um, I always felt that my business, my life was a reflection of who I was as a human being. What about punctuality? Being on time, getting, you know. I'm a crazy one with punctuality. Really? Yeah. It's like respect like you want to spend time then like we've got time but it's like just be on time do you prepare for things going wrong so like example if you have to catch a flight or if you have to be at somewhere for a speaking event or somewhere for a demonstration or somewhere do you plan on everything possibly going wrong to allow you to always be punctual or at least as much as possible I once saw a friend of mine he was a really busy professional. And I walked in five minutes late. And he said, I charge my time. And he said, it's not a matter of you being late. It's like you either have to leave where you're going early or you have to make a commitment to be here because it's like my office and my time is not me charging you not to show up. It's you having the respect to value my time. And it was like I sort of got it, didn't get it, and then I really got it. And I related to what he was saying. Um, and this was at a time where I needed to have things on time. Uh, to answer your question about the little things, yes, as an athlete, I can relate as an athlete. Uh, my races that I did were called the Race of Truth. Race of Truth. The Race of Truth. I never raced in a pack. I raced solo. Okay. Which means the time watch clicks, and when you cross the line, it stops. So everything in between is what can go wrong. Okay. And each time you feel a threshold of pain, you have a choice to back off, to tolerate it or go through it. Because when the clock ticks at the end of the day, at the end of the event, you can't bring back a second. So it was called the time trial. 
And if you go onto the internet and you look up time trialing, the name for time trialing is the race of truth because you're racing the clock. And if you're late, you can't bring back the clock and win. So the time trial in the Tour de France or the time trial in any major yeah. time trialing event is all about beating the clock. It's about being there before somebody else hits that moment. 